Entertainment. I'm your host, Franklin Nash. Now our top story. Well, no surprise here. Lindsay Lohan is in the news again. Lindsay was arrested on Wednesday after a pedestrian told police that her car struck him as she was driving into a hotel in New York City. If the accusation proves to be true, it will be Lindsay's first big hit in nearly 10 years. Lohan's vehicle allegedly clipped a 34-year-old man in an alley around 2.30 a.m., police told Reuters. She was arrested for leaving the scene. She was apparently at the hotel to sleep. And, you know, after a long, hard day of looking like a 60-year-old meth addict. Nothing gets you more exhausted, though, than running over innocent humans standing in your way. Lohan, who rose to fame as a child star in the 1990s and being somewhat healthy and normal, has been in and out of court, prison rehab, and her mind in recent years, claims these charges will be proven untrue and that much like her movie career comeback never happened. In Amanda Bynes' news that doesn't involve her in a car endangering the lives of others, the actress was kicked out of a gym for displaying odd behavior. According to sources at a gym called Equinox, Bynes was very disruptive during a 50-minute spin class, getting up several times, wandering around looking for a new bike. It is unclear as to whether or not this was a metaphor for her searching for someone who cares about Amanda Bynes. When she finally found a suitable bike, she then removed her top to reveal a tiny black strapless push-up bra, not a sports bra, says the source. But that's not when she got kicked out. No, it wasn't until she began applying makeup that the class instructor told her she had to leave. Bynes then promptly put her shirt back on, picked up her bag and left, confirming the obvious that she forgot to check her baggage at the door. At least she didn't hit anyone with her car this week. In Lohan Bynes crazy match, stationary bikes much safer than large metal death objects. In other news, Olympic snowboarder and gold medalist Sean White had an interesting weekend. He was arrested for public intoxication and vandalism after pulling a fire alarm and breaking a phone at a hotel in Nashville after an apparent night of heavy drinking. When asked what he had to drink that night, White gave the typical redhead response, ginger ale. The Flying Tomato apologized for his behavior once he sobered up, explaining that he thought the fire alarm was his reflection and that when he was pulling the alarm, he thought he was flipping the hair from his face. He said he broke the phone because he said no one answered him when he asked the question, Did they turn me into gum? Stride's Sean White gum does in fact exist, but does not contain any physical part of Sean White himself, as he is very much alive and making unwise decisions. Finally, singer Shakira announced this week that she is pregnant with her first child. When she was asked how the public will be able to believe that she is really pregnant, the artist had this to say. I'm on tonight. You know my hips don't lie, and I'm starting to feel it's right. All the attraction, the tension, don't you see, baby? I'm on tonight. My hips don't lie. This has been This Week in Week Entertainment. I've been your host, Franklin Nash. May tomorrow find you well, and today, find tomorrow.